Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to test something in my Tesla. Since I got the car, uh, I've seen the range at 80% drop a bit. I hardly ever changed to 100%. So in the car you can either see the state of charge in percent or you can see it in kilometers. The kilometers are based on a factor I think it's 175 watt hours per kilometer. Uh, and in the beginning, when I charged it to 100%, I got over 525 kilometers. Right now, I just finished charging to 80%. So you can see in Scan My Tesla here that uh, the state of charge is exactly 80%, or at least the one I can see. The usable remaining is 71.7 .7 kilowatt hours. And if I go into the car and set my energy display, I usually have it in percentage because I find this distance here kind of useless. You can see the car will say, oh, maybe I should go around. It will say 407 kilometers. If you divide that by 0.8, you get approximately 508 or 509, I think, which is less than 525. So I'm going to charge my car to 100% and see uh, how much distance there is and also how many usable kilowatt hours are available. So let's do that. I need to go into limit, bump it up all the way to 100% and done, okay. And now it should charge, hopefully, <laughs> all the way to 32 amps. Oh, and now it's set the distance, I, I want to have it back just for the charging at least, because then you can see kilowatts and it matches fairly well with the one I have here. So here we can see the battery current is much lower because it's the battery voltage, that's what it's measuring, it's 319 volts, 390 volts. And the battery is also fairly hot now, I hope it will stay that way when I charge, so that they can also see the max discharge power at 100% and fairly hot battery. That would be interesting. Anyway, let's wait until it has charged. It's going to take a while. <laughs> well, not that long. And uh, I'll see how much degradation there is. So uh, I think it's about 2%, which is normal for a Tesla, but we'll see. So the car has uh, finally charged to 100% took forever. It was charging at 5 amps, 5 to 8 amps for maybe an hour after it reached 100% on the phone. But now it finally stopped. And uh, when I look and scan my Tesla, it actually has uh, only 89.8 .8 kilowatt hours available energy. And um, that should mean it has at least 2% degradation. As a new car, it has 92 kilowatt hours available. But let's see how it looks in the kilometer section. If I go here to display, set it to distance, what will it say? Yeah, 510 kilometers. So I've uh, lost, quote unquote, <laughs> 15 kilometers of range since I got the car. And uh, it's not that bad actually. Uh, I was expecting maybe 5% in the first part and as usually Teslas they lose a bit in the beginning and um, then they stop degrading unless you do something stupid. But let's see here. What is the available power now? I need to change scan my Tesla a bit. So BMS max discharge is 421 kilowatt. <laughs> that's uh, that's nice. I've never seen it that high before. And um, that is 
over 550 horsepower, I think. When I got the car, I thought it had 500 maybe. Well, now I need to drive the car because you shouldn't let it sit at 100%. <laughs> Bad stuff happens in the chemistry of the battery if you do that. But this it's a this is a short video, but um, fifteen kilometers out of five hundred and twenty-five. I think that's only maybe one and a half percent degradation, which is uh, as expected, but or a, a bit better than I expected, really. <laughs> anyway. See you in the next video, so goodbye.